Hey guys, and welcome to this week's tutorial. Uh, this week we're going to build a little bit upon some of the previous work we've done when we're looking at the rolling average here. Uh, but what we're going to do is now add a little bit more of information around who you were actually playing in the game. Uh, and we're going to do that through conditional formatting. Um, so there's a few ways you can do conditional formatting uh, in Power BI. Uh, you can use your general formatting rules like you would in Excel. Uh, you can use a field value as well. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this. Uh, one way, or the first way you could do this is just using your general rules. So we'll click on our, our, uh, our graph here, we'll click onto our customization options and we'll go data colors. The little formula button here on the side, you can click that and that's going to bring you into your uh, conditional formatting Tool. So one thing we could do, and this is really simple, is we could just go and we could color on our shots, for example, from a high to a, a high to a low value. Now let's just make these the same colors as the rest of our our, uh, our report, and there we go. Now you can see where was the highest, where was the lowest, really simple, just by color gradient. Now that's really basic, and it doesn't actually give you too much information. Uh, the next piece you could do is use your uh, opposition team color. So to do this, I've done a couple of things. Uh, I've brought in the match table, uh, but I have merged that straight into our summary table. Uh, for that, I've created a home away color or team value, uh, which you could use the color by home or away, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, and then I've created an opposition column. All this opposition column does is just finds if the home team name is the same as the team name, give me the away team, otherwise just give me the home team name. So then you can find out which team is the home or away team, or who is your opposition, I should say. From there, we can create a measure within our team table. This is the measure that's going to create or find our uh, color code, which we can use. So here, it's pretty simple. Let's just find our opposition from the match summary table. I've got the location to find out if they were home or away, but I'm not going to use it as I said. Uh, we're going to filter our team, all of our team logos table, and we're going to find the opposition value. For this value uh, variable, we could use this to switch between home and away color, just by a little if statement to find if the location is home, give me the away color versus the home color. Um, but I wanted to keep this one simple just so you could color on the home color of the away team. And then we can make a very simple little uh, matrix legend at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just hit enter here, uh, get rid of that. And all you can do again is click on our graph, customization, and we're going to go to data colors. And we're going to click uh, just the function or the formula button here. This time we're going to go down to field value. I'm going to go based on field, we're going to look for our team logos table, then opposition color. Hit OK, and then we have them. So now we can see the different colors, but what we can't see is who's who. So I have created a legend already, I'll just bring that up, put that at the bottom. So there we have it. Little legend, it's got the team as the column uh, for your column headers and then the value. So I'll just format it again here so that the uh, the color value or the code is the same color as the text and the square in the background. So it hides the code itself. Now you can match up between who is what and who the team's playing. As you can see in the English leagues, some of the teams have very similar colors and there is a lot of blue. Uh, but now you can hopefully make a distinguish or can distinguish between who you were playing at this given time. You could also add one other piece of thing of information and you could just add opposition to the tooltip. So here now you can see I've got Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, Brighton, Birmingham, Everton, etc. So now you get a good idea of who you're playing. You can see that via the colour or over your tooltip as well. That's all for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and hopefully you will be back for more soon. Uh, please make sure you hit like and subscribe below and make sure you're looking out for more videos to power your performance through data. 
Thank you.